In this video, I'll show you how to bulk create eye-catching and monetizable guessing word animation videos using Canva and ChatGPT. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First, go to ChatGPT and ask for 20 guess words with hints that can improve English knowledge. Make sure to mention the maximum number of letters for each word. ChatGPT will provide hints and words like this. Then, ask ChatGPT to list them in a table. Specify the columns of the table and mention how words should appear if they aren't at the maximum length. Take a look at the prompt. ChatGPT will then list them in a table nicely like this. Here I only ask for 20 guessing words, but you can ask for even 100 of them if you like following this method. Open Canva and search for YouTube Shorts. You'll see several templates, but we'll start with a blank one. Once you're on the blank editing page, head over to the Elements tab. For this video, we'll create a Guess the word animation where the letters of the guessing word are on the petals of a flower. When the word is guessed correctly, the flower will stop rotating and a smiley face will appear in the center. Let me show you how. First, search for flower in the elements tab and go to graphics. I'm choosing this image for the trunk of the flower plant. Next, look for a flower with seven petals since our words have a maximum of six letters as provided by ChatGPT. Find a suitable flower, then click on the three dots and select See More Like This to find similar flowers. Scroll down and choose one with seven petals you like. I pick this. Scale and position it like this and change its color to yellow. Now search for a sad emoji in the Elements tab. Pick one you like, click on it, and place it in the center of the flower. Change its color to red so it stands out. Select the flower and go to Animate. Scroll down to Motion Effects and choose Rotate. This will make the flower rotate throughout the video. You can adjust the speed from here. Now, let's find a frame to include a photo of a flying insect, like a bee or a butterfly. Place the frame like this. Don't worry if it seems confusing now, it will make sense soon. Click on the frame and go to Animate. Click on B icon to add a custom animation. Drag the frame to simulate the bee flying. Next, search for a bee in the Elements tab. I'll pick this one and add it to the frame by dragging it in like this. This way, when we use Bulk Create, we can add various flying insects like bees, butterflies, or birds to this frame, giving our videos more variety. From the Animate tab, change the movement style to Steady. Now extend the video to 8 seconds by dragging it from the right, like this. I want to speed up the animation now. Also, I need the rotation to stop at the six second to reveal the answer on the petals. Right click on the flower and select show timing. This will display it on the timeline. Keep it until the six second like this. 
Now click on the flower again and duplicate it from here. For the duplicated copy, remove the animation, click on copy, go to animate, select the animation type, and then remove the animation. Now, set the timing for the duplicated flower to 6 second to the 8 second, like this. Place the duplicated flower on top of the original one. Next, let's add a smiling face to display when the answer is revealed. Search for a smiling emoji. I'll pick this one and place it in the center of the flower, changing its color to red. Set its timing to the last two seconds, like this. Also, adjust the timing for the sad face accordingly. Now, let's take a look. Okay, it looks good. Next, go to Position and place the B layer on top of all other layers, like this. Let's take a look. I'll now detach the image from the frame. I added it just to give you an idea of how it works. Finally, let's add a frame to the background. Find a frame from the Elements tab, place it like this, and scale it to fill the background size. Now go to Position and move the frame layer to the back like this. Next, search for a flower, but this time we want an animated one. Filter the results to show only animated flowers. I'll pick this one, then scale and position it like this. Now search for background images to add for each video when bulk creating. I'll search for flower garden background. In the graphics tab and pick a few backgrounds to use these images with bulk creating we need to add them to a new folder click on the three dots select add to folder and you can create a new folder or add it to an existing one i'll create a new folder give it a name and then move the image to this new folder. Next, click on the three dots on another image you want to add. Choose Add to Folder and select the folder you previously created. Repeat this process for all the images you want to include. I've added six images. Similarly, find bees and butterflies and add them to a separate folder. I've already added them to a folder called Fly. Now, let's add text for the hint in each letter of the answer. Go to text and add a heading, typing hint. Make sure to drag the side sizing handles to adjust the size like this. Then change the font size as desired. Also, add a suitable effect from effects. I add lift effect. Next, we need to add text for the six letters onto the petals of the flower. Go to text and add six subheading text like this. Edit each one to be numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six. Adjust and place them on the petals of the flower like this. Hold the Shift key and select each text box, then group them together. Open the timeline and adjust the timing for the group text to the last two seconds, like this. Since they are grouped, you don't need to adjust them one by one.
Now, ungroup the text, but keep them selected and increase the font size to 64. Go to Effects, add the background text effect, and change the background color to green like this. Now our template looks complete. Next, go to Apps from the left sidebar, search for Bulk Create, and choose it. Click Enter Data Manually, clear the table, then go to Chat GPT and copy the entire table containing hints and words. Go back to Bulk Create and paste it from here. Now we need to add two image columns for the flying background. Click on Add Image and add them. Then click on the plus mark to add images, then choose the folder. I first add the background images. So choose the flower folder and select the images one by one. Repeat this process for all the rows like this. Next, add the images for the fly. Choose the fly folder and repeat the same procedure we just did. Once everything is set, click on Done. Now you have to connect each column to its corresponding element. Click on the Hint text, select Connect Data, and choose Hint. Similarly, connect all the text elements to their corresponding columns. 1 to letter 1, 2 to letter 2, and so on. Next, click on the background, connect data, and choose the image one shown in column since it contains the background images. Then, click on the frame for the flies and connect it to image two. Now, change the letter text to capital letters. Hold Shift and click on each letter text from the layers. Then click this to convert them to capital letters. Everything looks good. So click Continue. I need to add another text box and edit it to say, guess the word like this. Add the background text effect Also animate it. I choose Flickr as the animation. Also, add a suitable animation for the hint text. I choose this one. All set. Now go to Bulk Create and click on Generate. It will generate our 20 designs. Here are our designs. Take a look. They look awesome, don't they? To download these, go to Share and click on Download. Make sure to check the option Download Pages as Separate Files, then click Download. It will download as a zip file. Like the video, subscribe my channel, click the bell icon and stay tuned with me.